Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today is another Stratter Day here at Norman's. And we have uh, my good friend and co-worker, Brandon Soriano. Hello! Woo! Hello, Brandon. Yeah. What up? We need that spec check. How you doing, <laughs> spec Brandon? Spec check time, baby. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? <laughs> good, good. <Yeah. laughs> it's, uh, we're hanging yeah. in there. Yeah, we're hanging in there. We're making sales, buying, selling. Yep. 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 We're Make buying. We're Always, buying. yeah. Always Email us, normsregatars at gmail.com or... Contact us on Reverb, of course. Just give Mike a call. We're going to leave his personal cell yes. number flashing on the video. Yeah, it'll be blinking it'll be in at the, the bottom. Text me. Or just text him. Just hang out. <laughs> he loves it. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, we do have a well, really cool guitar today. This is a brand new Fender American Ultra in Texas T. Uh, such wow. a cool guitar. Yeah, these things are really great, and it's a newer endeavor from Fender. Um, and there's a lot to talk about with these. They, uh, you know, as you know, they play really well. They do. That's, we'll talk about all the spec stuff in a moment, but like really they just overall, these things play so great. Um, the deal with the Ultra is that this is basically the hyper modern version of the Strat. They have a series of Ultra guitars for basses and Telecasters, you know, kind of across their model lines. Um, and the idea behind the whole Ultra series is that they are the most advanced, uh, most modernized versions of these guitars that they could come up with while still sort of staying true to what a Strat is or what a Tele is, that kind of thing. Um, and in my opinion, they nailed it. This is a really fun guitar. It's absolutely feature packed. So I guess we'll just start at the top and work our way down. Um, starting do up it. here at the headstock. What? Locking tuners. You can lock your tuning. Isn't lock it up. Neat? Lock it up, baby. <laughs> you got locking tuners, on here. locking tuners on here. The neck, although it looks like a normal neck, actually has some really cool stuff going on that wouldn't have been possible even just a few years ago in terms of like mass production. So this is what we call a compound radius neck. Um, and if you're not familiar, because we talk about radius a lot on here, if you picture the surface of a neck, right? Like this is the surface of the neck. Most electric guitar necks have a bit of a curve to them. And when we say radius, what we're basically saying is if you were to take the angle of that curve and continue it out into a complete circle, how big would the radius be of the circle? So if you have a really big circle, that means by the time you get up to the board, it's pretty flat. If you have a really tiny circle, that's gonna have a really rounded off radius. Um, so what they did here, compound radius, is that up here we're starting at a 10 inch radius which is flatter than a vintage guitar which would usually be like seven and a quarter uh some newer ones were like nine and a half this is 10 so a little bit flat but still round enough that it's comfortable for your cowboy chords and as you work your way up to the higher frets it actually gets flatter and flatter until you end up at a 14 inch radius which is very flat that's a really flat radius. And what that serves to do is make it really easy to solo. Generally speaking, when you're up high and you're soloing, doing the shredder kind of thing, a flat radius is really easy to work with. When you're down low playing your cowboy chords, a rounder radius is easy to work with. Yeah. It's an often overlooked feature of these guitars that I really wanted to talk about because the neck feel is just like freaking phenomenal. Yeah. Really great no neck. No doubt. It's, yeah, it's not a high gloss, but it's also not bare wood. It's somewhere in the middle, uh, which is really comfortable on the hand. Love the heel too. And the heel. So this is cool. A few years ago, they started doing the curve on the heel so that when your hand comes up here, it doesn't hit that squared off block. What they started doing on the Ultras as well is in addition to the curve, they actually slant it too. So you can see it slants downward there. Um, so it's sort of like, you know, double comfortable. <laughs> um, when your hand is really up there soloing, it really almost feels like there's not a neck. Yeah, yeah. Just it goes right into the body so comfortably. So that's another big feature of these guitars. Um, really nice sort of uh, beveling on these. They sit really comfortably in the body. These are, I believe, the fifth generation noiseless pickups. Um, so it's the latest and greatest with the noiseless. And to be honest, the noiseless pickups have always been very cool. Um, it's nice to have single coils that don't have a hum, but there used to be a little something missing for me yeah, with the yeah, tone. Yeah. I agree. This series, they nailed it. Yeah, Finally, they they, job. these noiseless pickups sound, in my opinion, indistinguishable from regular strap pickups, but there's no hum. So that's really great when you're in these single coil positions on the guitar, um, you're not going to get a hum, but it's still going to sound like a Strat. So that's cool. Anodized guard with the Texas T finish. 
such a cool finish that sort of changes depending on how you look at it in the light. Sometimes it's like a dark green, sometimes it's almost like a mocha. Yeah. Um, really cool. Sometimes it even looks black. It's just sort of chatoyant. Whoa. <laughs> That's why they pay me the big bucks. That is why we bring him in for spec check. <laughs> chatoyancy. Chatoyancy is oh, yeah. what he's That's got. Woo! <laughs> Talk What's about that, that button? button. What's that little button, Mike? Let's see what this sheet says about that little yeah, button. Yeah, right. Jen, get in on this. This is a fun one. We're going on, wild today. We're back. going all in. All right. This is what we call the S1 switch. It's a little button that goes right in that volume knob there instead of a push-pull knob like we would usually see. And as you can see, what the S1 switch does, it adds the neck pickup to every single position. So if you're in this back position, usually that's just regular single coil uh, neck pickup. This position is going to be these two blended. The middle is just the middle. The next one over is these two blended. And then the last one is the bridge. If this switch is in, I now have the bridge plus the neck pickup. I now have these two plus the neck pickup. So all three are active when you're in this second position with the switch down. In the middle with the switch, I get these two. Um, and then it doesn't really make a difference for the last two because it's already active. But the main thing is having these two together and all three at once. That is a crazy combination of sounds that you usually can't get on a Strat. Um, that is and cool. it's, it's so helpful to have. And then the last thing, and then uh -oh. I'll stop. I'm just going today. Um, six saddles on this on this uh, bridge here, and two screw points instead of six. So the, I find that the two screw bridges have an easy time pivoting, so the tremolos are usually pretty comfortable to use, and having these six individual saddles, uh, which are more modern than the vintage style, really help you dial in intonation. So overall, it's a guitar that's gonna be really, really able to set up, like, Professionally. Very user friendly. For Super sure. user friendly. Lots of options. Plays great. And uh, Mike is going to take it out front, show us what it's made of. Whoa, all right. Which Thank is you, Brandon. Wood and metal mostly. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Here we go. <laughs> all right, we're up front with the brand new Fender American Ultra Strat in Texas T color. Really cool. Um, we haven't had one in a while, and every time we get them, they go really fast. Um, but a beautiful guitar. I love the maple neck. Um, we're also going through, oh, over here, <laughs> Fender Super Reverb uh, from the 60s. I believe it's a 65, so uh, let's start off on that neck pickup.
Cool, let's go to the middle pickup, see what we get.
Yes. She didn't move once. She, she heard move. the last one. She though. did.